I'm Dan, the eyewear stylist, and today I'm here at the Great British Eyewear Show in Manchester. And next to me is Peter from Booth and Bruce, England. We actually stopped Booth and Bruce, England at the eyewear stylist in Manchester. I'm going to ask Peter a few questions behind the range and why it's doing so well. So before you got involved with Booth and Bruce itself, what were you doing prior to this? Okay, so I basically took over Booth and Bruce in 2014. Mm -hmm. Previously, it was owned by two other optometrists and optician partner, Peter and Jeremy. My history is that I'm a DO, first of all, and yes. then I and for went- For people that don't know, a DO is a dispensing optician. That's basically exactly like I am. It's everything outside of the testing room, essentially, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah, and then, as well as being a, a DO, dispensing optician, I'm also an optometrist, so I, I do both sides of the business. Yeah. And that's what I was doing up until 2014, and actually still am doing to this day in my, my three practices. Right. 2014, I bought Booth and Bruce off Peter and Jeremy, and basically picked up the sticks and carried on doing what they were doing so well. Yeah. It's fantastic, and I think, to be honest, in the time that I've, I've known you, the range has really grown. And like, yeah. you know, it's really that you've seen something more vibrant colors and things like that absolutely uh, do you try and lead the way a little bit do you kind of try and see patterns in fashion what helps you because you are quite involved in the design of the frame yeah. so basically yeah the concept of the frames basically comes from me watching patterns and styles and catwalks and color combinations that you see here and there and everywhere then you can also get indications of what's coming up in the next year from the the the, the company pantone who released color of the year yes, every year of course they do, so as yeah. long as you include a little bit of those recommended colors in the collection but then a lot of it is is instinct yes booth and bruce itself has always been known for bold colorful chunky frames that's yeah. that's where their his, history is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we went through like every brand went through the thinner collections the, th the thinner me metallic collections yes these past two seasons, we've reintroduced the bolder colours and the bolder shapes. Love that. Yeah. 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 Really cool. Would you say blue's an in colour right now, then, Peter? Or? Blue is a colour right now. Yes. Yeah. yeah we're, I mean, we're both we're both wearing it. So yeah. Yeah. I think that, I think we're both pretty much on trend. I think we're both on trend right now, which is great. I think we talked a little bit about did you have like a mission statement behind Booth and Bruce? Who are Booth and Bruce frame, frame is kind of for? But I'm really, yeah. you're, you're quite inclusive and open-minded, aren't you, really, when it comes well, to that? Well, yes. I mean, having a mission statement and having a brand ethos is, you know, it's, it's a nice thing to do. Mm -hmm. However, our whole creative process is around about not putting people in boxes, not saying these are our target people. Yeah. Why, would, why would I want only a certain demographic to wear my frames? Mm -hmm. In our collection, there is a frame that suits everybody. Yeah. And like I said to you just before we came on camera, wearing a frame is not about the style that you're wearing, it's about how you wear it and how you feel about wearing it. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to wear a particular style, a particular shape, a particular color, go for it. We're, yeah. we're not gonna say that frame is not for you. No. Our frames are for absolutely everybody. That's so good. I think that's like a really important thing. I think just in the world at the moment, it's just great to be just completely open-minded, inclusive, and give give people options. And certainly, yeah, not try and totally, narrow one into Totally, any absolutely. Box. Even to the point, I think when people say, "Is that a man's or a woman's frame?" It's like there's no such wanna, thing. There's no such thing. There is, is no there? such thing as you know, a man's and a woman's frame. There just, are more masculine frames, there are more yes, feminine frames, 100%. and there's a huge spectrum in between. Yeah. And it's not my position no. as a brand owner or brand designer yeah. to say that you should wear this frame or you should not wear this frame. 100%. That's a personal choice for each individual to make. I'm, I think I think that's amazing. I mean, that's definitely something I live live by with yeah. mine. I generally try and focus on, you know, maybe it might look what we might consider more masculine or more feminine, but right, saying it's a man's or a woman's frame, it's not really something yeah, we tend to absolutely. do. Absolutely. And let me just see. So I was going to ask you, from your own range, do you have a current favourite frame that you like, Peter? Well, I happen to have one in my hand right what? now. <laughs> <laughs> that could be considered to be my favorite frame. Yes. So what we've got here yeah. <clears throat> is about, sure about all the fashionable elements that you can put into a frame. Mm -hmm. So really big shape right now is the hexagonal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's point number one. Mm -hmm. Point number two is it's got great colors. In, mm -hmm. this, in this particular model, we've got four colors. This, I feel, is the most sellable and most wearable color, okay. with it being autumnal, with it being yeah. browns and that yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's split layer with some pattern across the top and a translucent acetate underneath. Mm -hmm. So that, for me, is the pinnacle of our current collection. Yeah. So much so that I put it on the posters. Yeah. 
that makes sense. That looks great. We'll quick look at yep, that. Yeah, for sure. So a bit of green in it. It's green, green a trend that's a uh, color that's on trend as well. Elements of green, yes. Elements of yeah. green, apparently. <laughs> so just a little bit, maybe not a full outfit of it, maybe a bit overkill. It's all about the wearer. It's all about the wearer, isn't it? We yeah. can't be boxed. Apparently this is a woman's tracksuit. Put yourself in something that you're comfortable. Yes, 100%. Well, this is very comfortable, so that works yeah. out as well. Would you say there's any particular thing that makes a Booth & Bruce frame different to another range of frames? And um, something you feel like would kind of like make yeah. you stand out compared to another range? So look, in the marketplace nowadays, there are so many ranges, so many brands, yes. so, so yeah. many creatives that it's hard to differentiate from people. Mm -hmm. what, what, what I feel as a, as a buyer for my, for my practices and also as a designer of Booth & Bruce mm -hmm. is it's about, the, it's about people. Yeah. You've got to, people buy from people. Yes. Yeah? It's about personalities and making a connection with people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you might find in two different ranges that you get crossover in between different brands. Yeah. But actually it's about the team behind the brand as well as the product. Oh, the yeah. product sells itself. Mm -hmm. What actually helps it to sell itself is the people that you're buying from. So I feel that with Booth & Bruce, yeah. one of our strongest selling point is the team that we've got. Yeah, I'd say that as well, to be honest. I've dealt with loads of different eyewear suppliers in the industry over the years, but the guys, they're so lovely and they're so welcoming, you know, and I think it's nice. You don't pigeonhole people we do not. and you're open minded about yeah. people trying different yeah. things. Yeah. At the eyewear stylist, some are slightly unusual. I don't do any eye tests currently, but, you know, Booth & Bruce has been really supportive of me. I like the fact we're based in England, yep. you know, designs all in England as well, which is great, supporting local businesses. So, yeah, so thank you so much for coming on the interview. You're really more than welcome. Your time. Thank Cheers. you. <laughs>